And I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. This little guy was about right here. And so what I'm gonna do is show you how to get that out. First thing I'm gonna do is go to settings and then just throw this thing into maintenance mode. And, and we're gonna go to control you have the option to kick out the extruder, make it go up or down. Next up, I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers here. And if you can see right there, there's, there's a little gap. And you're gonna to wanna to just pop that open. And when you pull that up, everything just easily pops out. But if you look all the way down inside, you're gonna see if there's any kind of filament stuck in there. And in my case, I was able to see this popping right there. I'm not gonna put it in, but it was just peeking right there. It, this is where you can just, I like to just pop it from below and it just comes right out. And then you gotta be careful because this, this, this does get really hot, hence the word hot end. I'll take this and just pull it and it comes right off. So you could see right here and you could use these pliers too if it's too hot. You just pull this and it just easily pops right off. And then just finger touch the heat sink. You should just be able to pull it right out. And that's what's left. Now, when I first did it, I had a piece of filament popping right out of this thing too. And I was just able to take the pliers and just pull it right out. And so that was no big deal. Let's take a look at what happens when we do this. If I hit extrude down, it gives you a complaint. It says, hey, you need to crank up the nozzle to 170. But there's an option here that says still load, and that's what I'm going for. So we're gonna hit that. And it goes just a little bit. And the annoying thing is you gotta keep doing it over and over again, but you can see it's feeding through. So I'm gonna keep doing it off camera. And you'll see it's starting to go through, and there it is. And so it's a really easy way to clear things out. And then I'm just gonna go all the way through until it's done. Now, if you had things jammed in there, everything would be coming out. So you keep doing it, keep doing it until eventually it comes out. And that's all I'm doing on my end is just this over and over again. There you go, you just keep doing it. Oh, looks like it's letting go. So you just pull it right out. Now I know that there's nothing in there. And then just reassembling is very easy as well. You just, everything in reverse. And you make sure that you have the flat side on the back. You see where the slot is. So you take that and you push in. Now there's one little trick to this. You, you wanna go up and you'll feel it just kind of settle in. So in and up. I'm gonna do this with the pliers so that way it's easier to see. Take this, make sure it's open, that flat first. And then you just bring it over. I don't know if this is gonna work with pliers. <laughs> there it goes. And then with this, uh, even easier, you just make sure that the, the words line up and you push it right on top. Perfect, right there. Just slides right in. And then you're gonna want to put this back on. You're gonna wanna make sure that that little notch lines up with the piece of plastic that's that's along the ridge there and just use this to push it all the way down you don't need to push it down like this just boom all the way through and then the last piece which is the little submarine window there you just put that in and then push you get that satisfying click and you are done and that's that so take your machine out of maintenance mode so you go to settings and then maintenance and then maintenance again Flip that, and we're all set. And that's how you do it. Thanks for stopping by.